Astronomers first started taking photographs of the night sky using photographic plates in the 1800s. Today, astronomers often use two types of cameras, CCD and CMOS, to take pictures of space in visible light. Charge-coupled devices, or CCDs, are sensitive detectors of photons that can be used in telescopes instead of film or photographic plates to produce images. A CCD is made up of a large grid of individual light-sensing elements called pixels. When light hits a pixel, the photon of light is converted into an electron. Each pixel on a CCD will have had a number of photons fall on it during an exposure. This number of photons translates to a number of electrons that are stored in the CCD until it's read out. The more photons hitting a certain pixel, the more electrons are stored there. To measure the amount of light that fell onto each pixel, the number of electrons is counted. The electrons are moved down the column of pixels to a readout register. They are then moved one by one to an output node, where they are converted to a voltage through a capacitor and this signal is passed through an amplifier to make it larger and easier to measure. An analogue to digital converter, ADC, converts this voltage to a number. We can convert this number into a colour or a brightness to show it on a computer screen. A darker pixel in the image indicates a low number of photons fell on the pixel, and a bright pixel indicates a higher number of photons fell on the pixel. A CMOS, or Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor device, is another type of camera sensor used in astronomy. CMOS devices are also used in digital cameras, such as mobile phone cameras, webcams and digital single-lens reflex DSLR cameras. Similar to a CCD, a CMOS sensor uses a grid of pixels. But unlike a CCD, each pixel contains its own capacitor and amplifier. This means that when photons hit the pixels, they're converted to electrons and then immediately into a voltage at each individual pixel. Every column of pixels also has its own analogue to digital converter. Electronic switches direct the voltage to the ADC, row by row, where they're converted to a brightness value by each ADC. You can imagine this like having a digital multimeter or voltmeter connected to each pixel in the row showing the analogue voltage signal as a number on screen. This way, you can read the information from all the pixels in the row at the same time. This information is then sent to a computer and displayed on the screen as an image. CCD and CMOS devices each have some advantages and some disadvantages when you compare them. Although both CCD and CMOS generally have a similar light sensitivity, both are able to capture light from very faint stars. CCDs are better at taking pictures of faint things using near-infrared range of light. However, CCDs have a slower readout speed and can suffer from saturation and blooming effects. A CMOS device, on the other hand, can process data very quickly because it can read out each row of pixels simultaneously and time is also saved as no electrons need to be moved, unlike on a CCD. This increased speed comes with its own problems. Because each pixel has its own amplifier, this introduces some extra noise on each pixel, shown as random variations in the brightness. But on a CCD, data from every pixel is processed through the same amplifier, so each pixel will have the same amount of noise. In general, the noise from a CMOS detector is lower than for a CCD detector. The lower the noise in an image, the better the image quality. High levels of noise make an image appear grainy and less sharp. For astronomy, CCDs have been the dominant technology until recently. 
Advances in CMOS technology have improved their light sensitivity and cost, making CMOS cameras an increasingly popular choice.